digging up potatoes. Been digging them up all up uh, all summer, and this is kind of the, the last part of it. So, so we can put uh, lettuce in here. That's what we'll replace the potatoes with. stay pretty good underneath the ground they don't uh they'll, they'll eventually sprout or they'll rot maybe or something but for a while they will stay good you know so you don't have to panic and just because the plant dies doesn't mean that means they're probably that's if the plant dies the potatoes probably not going to grow anymore you know? but they'll stay okay under the ground that's a good place to store them i, I think i've learned that one instead of they the sprout some of them start sprouting that's okay you can still eat them uh, I've learned that if you, you don't have a place, to, you know, the storing is, is a little tricky because sometimes they can rot, sometimes they can get old, sometimes you don't have like, I've got about six, six watermelons in the refrigerator. I, I don't have room for any more. Most of the watermelons out here are kind of, they're not going to grow anymore. They're ready. They're ripe. I got to pick them. I have no place to put them. So, so if you pick them as you go along, it's better. The storage is always a, a tricky problem. Um, Last year, I put potatoes in gunny sacks, put them in the, in the uh, basement. That worked out okay. We didn't use them fast enough. Eventually, they start sprouting and some rotted. And so, if there's any way you can keep them in the, in the natural surroundings, in the natural uh, place in the garden, it's better. I think I've learned that. Uh, did that with just about everything. But you do have to pick. When you pick, like, to, like on, a, on a bush or a tree, you don't pick the fruit. All the energy is going into that fruit that's already ripe. And it takes away from, from ripening other fruit and, and making it help the tree uh, grow. So it's better if you pick the fruit. You, know, you do have to pick it as it goes along, but uh, you can't let it, if you let it sit there and rot or ripen uh, too much, then you're wasting energy that the tree's putting into it. So if you pick it, you'll get more. That's the way I've seen it. You know, you pick it, keep it, keep it picked. And then, then, and then the, all the energy is going to the new fruit and vegetables. And, uh, that's what you want. So, and if you pick it all at once, and you got a storage problem, so you just got to play the game. You know? I've learned, i learned to. Uh, it's not all a perfect science. You kind of do your own thing, and what works for you is good. So, and the main thing is to keep it. You want to have food as long as you can. You want to have a fresh vegetable or fruit as long as you can, because there's a season for it. <laughs> You're not going to get it for. Beyond that season, that's just the way it is. We've had uh, tomatoes, you know, for about two months now. We'll get them for another month, and that's it. And you know, you get plastic tomatoes in the store. So, unfortunately, not everything, you know, it doesn't last as long as you want it to. Um, it goes for anything that's in here. And then I plant the fall stuff, and you get the fall stuff fresh for a few months. And then that goes away and you start over with the spring. Um, so you, you do get fresh things year round, but not the same. You can't grow tomatoes in the winter. You can't grow cauliflower and broccoli now. I'll start lettuce pretty soon. It'll suffer a little bit because of the heat, but, but you got to start it when there's heat and it gets a good growth. And then when it gets cool, it takes off. You don't grow it in the heat, put it in, in um, October, November, or maybe November. It's cool. It will not grow well. It will not. I've replaced, uh, I replaced plants in the fall that didn't do well. The ants got them or something happened. They died. And I put a new one in. I put it in like 
a month after I put the first one in, never, never developed, never grew. Just, it just, just uh, a little dwarf because it didn't get it. When it didn't, wasn't planted when it was supposed to plant. Be planted. So um, there's definitely a, a time to do it. It's time for every season, as the song says. And uh, if you don't do it, it will not work. Because I've got another example, peppers. I had peppers. For some reason, I lost about five. And I didn't catch on to it quick enough, and I didn't kill the bug that was killing them. So I put in these, I kept putting in, I had I had pepper plants, I kept putting them in. They just couldn't catch up with the big ones because the season had progressed. And now they're about half the size of the big ones. So they just will not, if you don't put them in at the right time, they will never do what you want them to do. And that's just the way it is. So you can go, you know, like my cousin, who's a professional farmer, he, uh, he puts his tomatoes in probably in... Uh, February, March, depending on what the weather's going to be like. And he puts little covers over him, like a little greenhouse over each his row of, of, of plants. And that helps them grow. So then February, he's got a little, these things are developing. So he plants them early. But I heard that he is almost out of tomatoes now. His tomato crop's almost done. But mine's kind of peaking. I still got another several, you know, a few weeks to go. So he planted his in February, March. He's done. Planted mine in April, May. I still got them. So uh, some things you can, you can play with a little bit with the seasons. And I think tomatoes is one of them. So everybody wants to have fresh tomatoes, so they grow them early. You know, everybody wants to get those things. Man, they can hardly they hate the plastic tomatoes from Safeway, so they get the. So they uh, they want to grow them quick, and early. I mean, so they put them in in February. It's cold. I never <laughs> just sit there. Sit there, sit there. God, I got my tomatoes in February, March, and they didn't do anything though. They really. So if you plant them in, in, you know, in April when it's warm, they'll take off. And really, you're doing about the same thing as somebody who planted them in February, March. So I never, I like to try it earlier, but really only if you have a greenhouse or a, you keep warm because it will not, summer vegetables will not do well in cold weather. You cannot, there's no way, no how. Well, all vegetables need heat to start, then they need cool to survive all winter long. They will be fine. They'll, 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 they'll survive freezing weather, cold weather, windy weather. It's amazing. They just stay hanging there. There are a few bugs you have to deal with that I don't like, and uh, if you can get past those, you have a good crop. Because the weather, that's why what they call cold crops, because that's the cold weather. There's a good one. That makes it all worthwhile right there. So, uh, anyway, you kind of learn as you go along. The main thing is you got to keep on it. You got to keep after it. You got to work it at it every day. You can't just, you know, most people don't want to do that. They want to have a garden, but they don't want to, it's an everyday thing. They take off on vacation and they come back and they got problems. So, so this whole thing's automated, you know, it's automatic watering. So it, it will, uh, I don't have to be here. But that's one thing I don't have to stand with a hose. I couldn't do that anyway, it would be physically possible. Just about every everything on this property, every plant is, is watered out of high Anyway, this is the fun part of all this is getting the getting the goods. And I probably got I don't know. 50 pounds, 100 pounds so far. I've already, I've already eaten. And I'll probably get another 50 pounds out of here. So I, I know when, I don't know, I might be off, but uh it's time to put something else in here, so I really have to get it going. Get them out of here. Now, I'll get potatoes all year long, though. Potatoes will keep popping up. Where the lettuce, where the lettuce is growing, I'll get potatoes too because there's little potatoes. Uh, uh, little guys, it's smaller than that. There's potatoes that you miss. And they sprout and start growing plants. I get them all, all winter long. I'll get, I'll get potato plants here amongst the, uh, the lettuce and. I don't let them grow. I pull them out because they, they won't develop. They won't turn into anything. And uh, I tried. I've let a few grow. And the winter's just, the weather's not right. And they just don't develop. So they stay the same size. And you end up pulling them out anyway. So, like I said, there's a time and season for everything. Potatoes, you're supposed to plant in the middle of March. And you can harvest usually July, in 10 after July. I've got a water line in here. Try not to. 
cut. I have cut it before. I'm trying not to, so I don't have extra work. I'm trying to dig the tips around that line. Ah, there we go. Let's see what we got here. Ah, nothing. That's not good for the, good for the show. Now, sometimes there's stuff down in there that you didn't. It just doesn't always grow where you want it to grow. Again, divs grow off of roots. They're root plants, so sometimes the roots grow in a different direction. I might already pick some of these too, because I've been in here all for a couple months now. And what I learned to do is I picked what I wanted, and I left the plant in the ground. I lift it up, pick what I wanted, put the plant down in, and the little, the little potatoes could keep growing. I thought that was a genius idea. I think it worked. So you see this one? No, okay. These over here, they're, you know, they're, there's potatoes under there, but they're probably not going to be big. By the time I have to take them out, we got to put lettuce in here. So, um, I might let that area, maybe I'll let that go. But, can't, you know, I've got a big enough place here. I could probably, I could probably have two gardens. I could have a fall garden and a spring garden. But I, I replace this section with lettuce, place that with peas. Place that with um, Brussels sprouts. Place the little the raised gar uh, beds with spinach. Put onions in there. Uh, cauliflower, broccoli it takes a lot of space because they grow. Plants are huge. So um, I replace. I just instead of growing a second garden, I had some. Sometimes I have to overlap, and that and like now I can let these potatoes grow, but I want to put lettuce in. But the way I look at it, I'll get enough potatoes just because they came up late. I shouldn't be penalized for that so they came up late and I'm not gonna it's just, like I said there's they're coming out and that's the way it is. I hate to I hate to pull plants out that, you know, like this one and mm -hmm. cut that off. That's probably you know that was growing but it didn't uh came up late so that's why it'd be nice if everything grew at the same time, same you know and everything works out. It's just not the way it is.